All right guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you my calcium reactor setup. All right, so here is my current tank and as you can see, I have started to add in some corals in here. I have a few of my favorites, uh, Green Slimer, PC Rainbow. I've also added this Crisea clam right here. And he's been moving a lot, but it looks like he likes this spot. So he's been here for a few days now. He hasn't moved. And uh, in order to support the corals, and the coralline algae that's been growing in everywhere in my tank had to make sure that I got my calcium reactor up and running. So I uh, opted to go with the Reef Octopus and I think this is the CR140 model and I had nowhere else to put it but here. So it's actually sitting inside my cabinet next to my electronics. Could be a good thing or a bad thing but I made sure to put uh, all the wet components inside this cube rimless tank here and uh, this is here just in case the calcium reactor starts to leak um, and I had to I had to uh, go in here and uh, make, some, make some adjustments because it was leaking when I had set up and I didn't follow the instructions but uh, now it's tight and everything seems to be holding up nothing's leaking but this is the um, the uh, calcium reactor by Reef Octopus. So it's got this red cap here. Makes it easy for me to fill up the media when I need to. And uh, that's the main chamber. And then this chamber here, the secondary chamber, is actually by Aquamax. Um, Reef Octopus used to carry one, but they no longer do, or at least I couldn't find one. So I have this combo here. This helps, you know, the first chamber is to break down. Second chamber here is to make sure I absorb that um, CO2 to make sure the pH stays relatively high when it's feeding or going back into the uh, display tank. But this new model here is actually pretty nice because it comes with the Varios pump. This is the Varios 2 and it comes with the controller over here in the back and I can actually dial that in if I want it to be running at full max or if I want to turn it down. And I currently have it at halfway. So um, this is a tight spot. This is the only spot I can put it in. So I have it all in here. And then I have the CO2 tank back out this way. And I believe this is a 10 pound tank. And I'm running the carbon doser. I have it set at about five PSI on the gauge here. And then I have it at about five seconds per bubble. And that, um, you know, you can adjust that, play with that, but uh, this actually fits my tank's need at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I also have all the um, CO2 doser controlled by the Apex. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention here is the Apex, uh, there is a pH probe here that's inside the calcium reactor that's also being monitored by the Apex. So Apex will keep my pH within the calcium reactor between 6.5 and 6. Point, take that back. It's 6.7 to 6.75. And uh, to keep this tank stable the way it is right now, uh, Corals haven't started taking off yet, so consumption has been relatively stable. And I'm currently dripping at about 15 milliliters per minute. And I have it dripping right here at the main chamber. So it's dripping consistently. I have this small little valve right here that helps control the drip. And along with that, it's being fed by this knob here. So this knob controls the water that is being fed into the calcium reactor and I have it turned up just slightly. I don't want it to build too much pressure in that chamber but 
I want it to have enough pressure so that it can create this flow that's coming back and I want it to be consistent so there it is it's dripping inside my return chamber here at about 15 milliliters per minute all right so there it is again keeping it as simple as possible I'm running the calcium setup versus my other tank which is a two-part dosing so far it's been relatively stable and it's been relatively quiet all right once more here's my tank a few cores in here and hopefully in the next few months they will start taking off at which point I would feel more comfortable adding in some high-end aquapores but for now this is where it sits if you have any questions or comments please let me know in the comment section below and if you like what I'm putting out uh, feel free to subscribe hit that like button and also that bell notification to, so that you're updated when I put out new content I do have something that I want to play with coming in the future I do have a sensor that measures the uh, that can measure the tube here without touching the water and I do want to incorporate that sensor somehow so that I can make sure that this flow here is consistent uh, one thing to note these these two here they are prone to being after a while they kind of get stuck and then they kind of slow down because of the buildup at the very tip here but I hope I could get that incorporated in here so that way I, I'm notified when this thing is when the flow here is or has slowed down a bit anyways uh check back soon stay tuned and follow me if you enjoy this journey and i'll see you guys next time